Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tetra Ninja and we once again back playing some Pokemon Sun and Moon. We are still hot on the trail of what it sounds like the last Ultra Beast that is really threatening the Alolo region. But before we go on the quest for the last one, I actually wanted to capture the last two Guardian Pokemon that are located in this game. We captured Tapu Koko is kind of required after you beat the main mission. Then we also captured Tapu Bulu. So we have been... I quick traveled here via the... Gl Charizard Clyde and we're gonna figure out this one see what it's all about we have our beast Pokemon catcher Tapu Koko in the party he's literally the probably the greatest well obviously a mega gal a Gallade would work as well but you have to actually have to breed for a Gallade with a Haunter in order to get like perfect move set abilities uh, with Tapu Koko he comes stock where you can teach him Thunder Wave, you can teach him False Swipe, you can, he knows Nature Madness to automatically take down half the half health of the Pokemon regardless of level. And I haven't really run into a situation yet where there are any Pokemon that actually run away from you, but if you really need to... Protective Mist, what? Oh no! Uh, Aqua Ring, no! Okay, then that's gonna make things a little bit difficult then. Aqua Ring, she'll gradually gain more health. I'm wondering if I just usually should use Toxic to counter the effects of Aqua Ring. Since I can't use. Ah. Uh... Okay. Hydro Pump. Yeah, my Toxic might be better. Plus that Veil protects her from being poisoned as well. We'll find out in a second. Nature's Madness. They all seem to know stock Nature's Madness. I can do that too, lady. Well, on the in preemptively trying to be prepared to capture these Ultra Beasts, I actually retaught Prime Arena Sing. So that might be the best thing to do, actually. Man! Don't come easy, do you? I'm kind of just waiting for her to knock Tapu Koko out. <laughs> as bad as it sounds. So I can substitute freely without giving her ability to regen health. Oh, she's just gonna keep using Aqua Ring. Okay, that's alright. We'll false swipe it here. False sweep! Okay, well, I might as well just try the Ultra Ball now. Do you know I found out that because I found a lure ball and a heavy ball in the game, and I just assumed that you'd be able to buy more. Oh, come on! I just assumed that you'd be able to buy more somewhere. Apparently, the ones that you find in the game are literally the only ones. You only get one per game of each, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm <laughs> like, what? Kind of, if you guys aren't familiar, like the lure ball, the heavy ball, the speed ball, um, they were staples in the second generation of Pokemon. Uh, there was actually a system back in the day where you, oh, there you go, that knocked him out, where uh, you created your own Pokeball. So just imagine instead of berries, we had something called uh, a a apricorns. Apricorns, that's what it was. And you bring the apricorns, various ones that you found throughout the region, to this guy named Kirk in one of the cities, and he actually makes Pokeballs out of them, specialized Pokeballs. But those Pokeballs were like exclusive to that generation. And they never... They were never anymore ever again. So people were like kind of excited. I was like, I was really excited when I found out they were, they were bringing them back for this generation. But I just assumed that since they were going to be back, you'd be able to buy more of them. But apparently that's not the case <laughs> at all. You literally only get one per game of each, which is absolutely ridiculous. I used my QR code scanner to... Uh, 
the QR scanner code system to capture, wow, a total dial, and I wanted to capture him using a lore ball, because kind of just to stay in line with the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon series, because that's what Ash used to capture it. And I had already used it earlier in the game. And I thought I'd, because I, I thought I'd just be able to buy more. But you only get one. <laughs> game Freak, biggest trolls ever. Fans, we want the Apricorn Pokeballs back. Game Freak, here you go. We want more of them. Fans say, Game Freak's like said, you only said one. <laughs> what? Wow, why aren't you being captured? You're asleep. That's not good. You're asleep and you have like zero health left. Yeah, Toxic might have been a better deal there. Sleep is just so... Thunder Wave and per Perilous is so much by far and away the best of all the status effects just because like sleep eventually just wears off burning and toxic will make the Pokemon faint um, paralysis is just all around the better but the issue is if you're using Thunder Wave you run into a brown Pokemon and I guess this is a perfect example you run into a Pokemon like this who can't be affected by Thunder Wave that's a problem. Lucky with the critical hit there. Please stay asleep. Don't wake up, please. Oh, come on. If I knew she would have... If I knew she would have that attack, I would have. Most definitely. Use Toxic. If I knew she was gonna have Aqua Ring, I would have used Toxic instead. Or brought in a Pokemon that knew Toxic. Okay, let's. Instead of swapping, let me just throw. Let me throw a, a ball real quick here. Let's see if it works. This is gonna be the problemos, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is gonna be a grind. I, I do, I know Decidueye do, does have Toxic in his inventory for an attack, but I don't want to use it right now. Because I'm pretty sure the effects of Toxic are greater than the effects of the of the Aqua Ring. I'm gonna let him reach out one more time. Throw another Pokeball here. I'll let him reach out health a couple more times with the Aqua Ring. And then once he gets to a level. Oh, I, I got a wiggle there. Maybe one more. Once he's out of the red, I'll use it. And just because I want a couple shots of being able to throw the Ultra Ball before he faints. Come on. Ooh, two! No. No good. Okay. Fine. Here we go! He can buff that. See, but they just the problem is it's badly poisoned rather than just poisoned. Ah. Gotta use a hyper potion here.
Okay. Let's see if this works. If this works for me. You are destroying my Ultra Ball Stash, lady. Come on. Toxic. Oh. Ooh. If I don't catch him here, it's gonna be difficult. Come on. Come on. Yippa! Oh wow, the next if I if we didn't literally catch him right there, the next uh the next toxic effect would have definitely done her in. Wow. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. Tapu Finny. So, three of four captured. Plant Spirit Pokemon. The dense fog it creates brings the downfall and destruction of its confused enemies. Ocean currents are the source of its energy. Water and fairy type. Just based on the purple, I would have guessed, uh... I would have guessed poison water. But what do I know? Give it the old eye test there. Which failed me. You have failed me, my eyes. Alright, there's one left. And... I came prepared, I know. Know where it is. Is here? No. It's on Route Nine, the Diglett Cavern. Here. Let me rest up here real quick now. Ah, uh, whatever. Apparently I got brought right here. Okay then, I will... Revive here. Can we learn Venno Shock? No. No! Big ol' stop sign there. <laughs> Tabu Coco back in the game. Alright, last one. Looking forward to, apparently there are a lot of trainers in the next era where we need to go to capture the last Ultra Beast or UB. I'm looking forward to using my amulet coin and cash again because we are struggling on the money front. It's, just, it's mainly because I... I the aiming luck coin was like, you found it actually quite early in the game and I glossed over it. Stupidly. I must have glossed over the Macho Brace too, because you usually get the Macho Brace traditionally early in the game. The Macho Brace is more if you're like competitive battling. But I feel like for majority, especially near the end game, where I need to buy like a lot of supplies, like Ultra Balls and uh, revives and Hyper Potions. Buying TMs from stores are ridiculously expensive. Uh, let me throw it down save here just in case something bad happens. Um, I'm running, out, I'm running out of money <laughs> really quickly. The champion is broke, ladies and gentlemen. The champion is broke. I'm assuming it's a girl based on all the flowers that were. We just pass on the way and eat it. Yeah, you're a girl. <laughs> What's your typing though? Oh, there you go. Psychic. Psychic Surge. Please don't have something that prevents me from the code. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's gonna make things infinitely easier now. That field power bonus, man. I feel like I'm playing Gugio right now. Sensory attack. Wow. Did 
Tapu Koko is not having a good day. <laughs> he just keeps getting knocked out every single time. False swipe. Flatter. I don't use special attacks. What's the purpose of flatter though? Moonblast. Wow. Because aren't one don't you when you hit yourself it's a physical attack? So you basically just give it one it's not like swagger where you raise their attack. You're, you, they're not gonna hit themselves with a special attack. It's a very odd attack. Wow. Moon blasting me. Well, if I can't. I might as well just leave you to uh, Okay. Let's say I'll, before I faint, I'll leave you with one HP, but that's not gonna work. Uh, there. <laughs> Paralyzed. And they're low HP. Let's get it. Let's get it! Wow! Don't make me revive for the head. So I have to get false like and go on again. There we go. We got it. We got it. No, we don't got it. Uh... That's the first paralysis of this entire match. <laughs> wow. These last two Pokemon completely decimated my stash of Ultra Balls. Ultra Balls are expensive, man. Come on. These things ain't cheap. have only, this entire game, have only had one instant capture. It's kind of ridiculous. Doesn't work on me, bro. If we get to five Pokeball or Ultra Balls left, I may just, yeah. I'm gonna revive one Pokemon and use False Swipe to get her down to one HP because we're running into some risky territory otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, gonna do that. Moonblast me. Maybe should have done the revive there. I feel this whole Galio is just so intimidating. <laughs> situation at here Decidui Throw down my hyper potion as well Just get his HP up there Only two. She must have some serious high catch rate, man. Wow! There's literally nothing I can do. Well, I guess I could, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's this. This is dumb.
Come on, be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pays dividends. Okay, you literally have one HP left. I can't do any more for you. And you've decimated my Ultra Ball collection. <laughs> Ooh. Dude! Dude! Don't make me bust out that Master Ball. Don't make me do it. Deep breaths. Only two left. <laughs> Gotta be dipping into the specialized Pokeball collection soon. Oh no. Oh, look, your ball. No, come on. Why are you putting up so much of a fight? Get in your home. Don't you like your home? Should have bought a timer ball. Got four here balls left. Hey, it's pink like her. That's not gonna work. I kinda wanna exhaust all options before I throw my last Ultra Ball though. Come on! Yes! Wow! I got it! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> That was a grind! That was the biggest grind ever! <gasps> oh man, oh man. Oh, only one Ultra Ball left back in the bank. And we nailed it. Got them all. Okay, we need to get to a Pokemon Center and heal. Heal and buy more Ultra Balls. Yes, please. Oh, that was a grind. Those guys is difficult. The rest of my cash. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're gonna actually be battling some trainers. Let's move some items here. Um, hold item, move. Actually. Hold item, move. Get that soul galio action in. Fly. 
fly. Then we fly to this island. Do do do. Okay. Now, here we go. I am champion of the world here. You will let me pass. Pawnee Grove. Let's see what level of Pokemon the people have in this area. Those should be some decent trainers. Crabominal. Got something for like you. That Zen headbutt. Kai oh. I love having such a diverse move pool. Makes sweeping a lot easier. Once a uh, hot ha uh hakama no como -o gets to a decent level, it'll be a beast of a physical sweeper for us. Beastly. It's gonna take a couple couple minutes. Something I also have to do is I need to hunt down all the Zygarde corridors and cubes around the game so I can get the 100% Zygarde. Trumbeak. But that might be something I just do in my own time because it's not really that stimulating <laughs> to do. Just watch a guy go around collecting cores and squishies and stuff. Ace Trainer. What you got, man? What you got? In all serious, no. Seriousness, though. If you were a trainer, and some guy pulled out a Soul Galio out, <laughs> what would you say to yourself? I was like, oh, I guess I'm not. I'm not winning this fight. This ain't happening. Just like roll over to the fetal position. <laughs> Just give up on life. <laughs> He's so intimidating just to look at. So much better than the bat one. Crunch. Crunchy. Yeah, you ain't winning. You ain't winning this match. Neutral damage. Neutral. I might be in the long run, it might have been able like uh, it might have been better for you to actually come to this area first, right after the post game, to level up a bit. Because the Pokemon are about five levels lower than yours should be. Place to train up. Because some of the trainers that like, you faced all the, thus far on this road to uh, hunting down all these Ultra Beasts, they are quite powerful. Nanu almost most Moab stomped me. If it wasn't for him trying to console. Oh, second. He constantly tried to use Sucker Punch, and then I just used that opportunity to heal all my Pokemon. Which is kind of cheap, I know, but that that's on him, that's not on me. 